if memories can be stored in parts of the body that are not connected to our brain, then in theory, we could experience physical trauma due to traumatic memories and then possibly pass those memories on to our children. It's expanding our collective understanding of the mind-body connection. And then it's also falling under this category, just like Lauren said, of epigenetics, which yeah. is a very new field. Like there's not a ton of research that's been done, but when you hear people talk about generational trauma, mm -hmm. that's a form of epigenetics. One example that I've been seeing a lot, which really illustrates it, it for me is that two identical twins, they have identical DNA, right? Like their genetic makeup is the same, but one of them could get some kind of an illness mm -hmm. and one of them doesn't. And it's like, why would that happen if they have exactly the same genes? It's because the way that your genes are expressed mm -hmm. can change. Right. So um, with epigenetics, if you go through a traumatic experience or a significant life experience, it's not that the DNA changes. It's the way that it expresses itself changes. Yeah. It's almost like um, a mutation of sorts.